Hello and welcome folks, Pazmir bringing you the second, no, actually the third week of Raw here. We're actually getting to the second round of the March Madness Tournament here on Raw, the Sweet 16 here. And we're starting off with John Cena and Kane. Kane being accompanied by Seth Rollins down to the ring. Kane actually eliminated Dean Ambrose from the March Madness Tournament in the first round. We'll be seeing Dean Ambrose later tonight in a match against the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. As John Cena gets Kane down on the mat, Kane able to counter and get a headlock up onto a vertical base once again. Head drag takedown by Kane as he gets a headlock now applied down on the mat. A big punch to the face for John Cena. Now will they go to some bigger strikes here as we see Kane drag John Cena to the center of the ring for a nice backbreaker on to John Cena. John Cena was in one of the first matches for Raw and he faced off against the Icon Sting and was able to defeat him to get his way into the second round of the March Madness Tournament. John Cena, the former United States Champion here in this universe, he qualified number 8 for Raw but was able to beat the number one seed, Sting, for this opportunity now. Will he continue his John Cena story here against Kane here tonight? Got to turn around on Kane. Big boot into the corner by Kane. As now he turns John Cena around and he does, does the snake eyes. A very vintage move for his brother, The Undertaker. As you see, a headlock applied. He's going to get picked up now. As he got a choke, choke down onto the mat by Kane onto John Cena here. As he's trying to choke John Cena out, he's got the support of Seth Rollins here on the outside. But ref calling off Kane, telling Kane to let go of that choke it was a bit too long. Nice sidewalk backbreaker once again. Very, very big move there for Kane as he can do a lot of damage. As Kane will do that bit giant choke slam that slams you right on your back. As Kane goes to the outside now, he's actually tearing off our table here. It's not only our first match of the night, you can't go for a table here. But it seems like Seth Rollins is looking to try and grab uh, John Cena here. He might try and send him into the gate. Oh, he's getting in the face of John Cena. John Cena pushes Rollins away. But it's enough of a distraction here as Rollins now gets in the face of John Cena once again. Cena pushing him away, just giving Kane enough time to get a bit of rest. But John Cena pushing Kane back into the ring. Seth Rollins, thankfully, uh, not di uh, disqualifying Kane as if Kane was disqualified. John Cena would still go on in this March Madness tournament. As we get a counter by John Cena, and John Cena is able to whip around Kane with a nice head drag takedown to take Kane down onto the mat. There's a series of kicks now as Kane has been down. And the momentum now momentarily in the, uh, in the pointing towards uh, John Cena, but Kane with a big countered elbow to the face. Now he turns around, John Cena, if you get a nice suplex, branding um, John Cena right on his upper back there. It looked a bit rough for John Cena. As now Kane actually calling for his choke slam here. Will he have enough damage to keep John Cena down for the count? He's got him uh, that hand around his throat. He's got John Cena up and slammed down on the mat for that choke slam. It's a one, two, and three. Not quite as John Cena just barely kicks out. Now John Cena trying to go for a comeback here as he, he got himself, he, he psyched himself up there as he see that shoulder tackle, but it's not his vintage, uh, classic shoulder tackle. It looked like it was counter there. Looked like John Cena went for it, but there's a big hip toss there by Kane as now he picks up John Cena. Will he have enough energy to go for that comeback maneuver still? Or has John Cena been tired out too much by this onslaught from Kane? It looks like John Cena actually has a bit more energy as Kane has that um, arm drag takedown by Kane, which really seemed to take a lot out of him. We got a reverse suplex. I thought there was going to be a DDT, but a huge suplex by John Cena, showing the immense strength of John Cena as now he picks up Kane as he's got a. That's like a cutter. That's like a reverse cutter. That was a very interesting move as we get a pinfall here. Seems like his foot might have been underneath the ropes there. As Kane quickly kicks out of that pinfall maneuver. Headlock applied as we get another slam by Cena. Will it be enough this time as Kane is down for one? Only a one count as Kane quickly kicks out. 
Will John Cena go for an AA soon? We got a counter there for that big punch into the face of Cena. As now Kane going to go for another choke. As he chokes Cena down on the mat. Will this be the second choke? And he also had a choke slam on him earlier. Will Cena have to tap out here? Or will he pass out here? The, the ref is calling it here. John Cena has passed out from that chokehold. Here is your winner, Kane! What a phenomenal contest. I can guarantee this match will be discussed heavily on WWE.com. This is it. Here we have the second match of our March Madness tournament as we have a tie up between Triple H and Sheamus here as they tie up right back up in the center of the ring. This is the second of two March Madness matchups here tonight. The other one we just saw was John Cena and Kane. Kane continuing on. The winner of this match will face off Kane next week in the finals of the Raw bracket for the March Madness tournament. Right now we're in the Sweet 16 and we've got Triple H and Sheamus as Sheamus gets a nice Irish whip around and a big headbutt from the great white Irishman as he picks up Triple H. Triple H has been on an absolute roll here in this universe. He has already picked up three victories in the past two weeks in March Madness. He was able to defeat Chris Jericho in the first round. And he's actually beaten both competitors in our main event tonight, CM Punk and Alberto Del Rio. The two of them have been uh, quarreling over the United States Championship. As you see, Triple H with a nice Irish whip into that corner and now got the advantage on his side. But Sheamus with a counter and a kick to the gut. We'll see the rivalry over the United States Championship continue tonight. As we see another armbar, series of armbars between these guys as they work on each other and get this match going here. The headlock applied as he goes for a big suplex onto Triple H, slamming it right down on that mat. We got a couple of strikes from Sheamus now as he picks up Triple H. Now going to go for a reverse suplex. Slamming him on the opposite way now. Sheamus with a lot of offense coming out of the early going of this matchup. He gets a couple strikes to the back of Triple H. Triple H can be very deceptive low and come out of nowhere with that pedigree. Looks like Sheamus is looking for something though. As he grabs the leg of Triple H and does a nice elbow to that side of that leg. Those quadriceps that Triple H has severely torn in the past. He's torn that entire muscle off the bone as you see a series of kicks coming in from Sheamus and now an elbow to the upper back the great wide back of Triple H as we see a Celtic cross backbreaker or an Irish curse backbreaker rather those are one of the signatures moves as you get a two count it's only a two count however as Triple H kicks out before the three he's got Triple H in the corner now will he put a couple of boots in him no he's actually gonna take Triple H and slam him down on the mat by pulling him up. It looks like Sheamus is getting ready for that bro kick though as he slams his fist against the chest there. It's that big boot right to the face of Triple H. He goes to the pin here. One, two, three. And Sheamus is your second Raw competitor for March Madness. Here is your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Absolutely amazing. We knew he felt he had to win this one tonight. I mean, there's absolutely no way to underscore how big this victory is. Perhaps the biggest in his life. I'm ready for this. Hey, wait a second. What's going on here? What a sneaky attack. Axel got the jump on Miz here as we start up this quick matchup here between these two tag team rivals. We've had Miz Dow and Rybaxel, oh Miz and Miz Dow and Rybaxel rivaling against each other in the past few weeks as we get a nice back body drop from the Miz. Last week we had an entrance uh, sort of faked here by Curtis Axel to try and distract Damian Sandow when he had his match as we see a big bulldog from the Miz on to Curtis Axel. Unfortunately, that did not help out Ryback as he lost that match to Damian Sandow. We got a, uh, looks like a nice reverse, uh, uh, not reverse, a modified version of a camel clutch uh, ringing the back of Curtis Axel. 
as we get a counter here from Axel. He slams the face of Miz down on the mat. He goes for a quick pin here as he gets a one, and only a one count. He's hoping that that early attack coming from behind of Miz will be able to help out, but Miz able to get an advantage here and does a nice suplex to slam Axel down on the mat. He's got him right in the center here. He's now he picks up Axel with a couple of serious shots to the face there. As now he picks up the third generation wrestler, Curtis Axel. As we get that, uh, I believe that's Axel's finisher there. As he gets a pinfall here. One, two, three. Yes, Axel with that sneak attack and his finisher wins this matchup. see who's coming out I don't like the looks of this here we've got Dean Ambrose versus Mark Henry had uh, Randy Orton coming in after a these guys got in the ring here gonna be prowling around the outside of the ring gotta wonder what he's gonna do here Mark Henry and Randy Orton have faced off the past two weeks each man has picked up a victory in those weeks but Mark Henry had an absolutely destructive victory last week over Randy Orton. Does he get a big elbow into the heart of Dean Ambrose? Will the world's strongest man run over the uh, lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose here? Does he get a big shot to the back of Dean? We got a we saw Dean's former Shield teammate Rome, uh, Seth Rollins uh, earlier with Kane. As uh, Kane got his first victory in that uh, March Madness tournament. Big drag from Mark Henry into the center of the ring. Don't know why I'm getting my words tied up so much. As we get a nice attack on the lower back of Dean Ambrose. Once again, those huge elbows along with that attack on the back has actually been very much targeted in the back. It looks like he, I thought he was going to go for a uh, back body drop to also go with that. But Dean Ambrose able to counter into a nice DDT or an arm drag DDT sort of combination. Big headbutt into his face as now Dean Ambrose gets picked up once again by Mark Henry. Big bear hug. Like I said, he was targeting that back. That back was weakened a bit. I think uh, Dean Ambrose was able to grab the rope, however, as that was a very quick break by the world's strongest man. And now he went for the world's strongest slam, but gets countered here with a nice drop to hole, or his Russian leg sweep. And now Mark Henry going to try an Irish whip. Dean Ambrose into the corner here. Back body drop. Slamming that back onto the mat. Will he try and go for another beer hug or another submission hold on the back of Dean Ambrose? He's actually going to for, go for a pin here. One, two, three. Not quite. That uh, big shot to the head of Dean Ambrose. He's able to collect the stars flying in front of him. Just early enough for him to kick out of that three count. As Dean Ambrose is slowly crawling away from the world's strongest man. But he is just prowling him as as he, he calls for a big move here. He's looking for something. But Dean Ambrose counters once again. He gets a big knee to him and that big punch to the face now. He now turns Mark Henry over and he goes for a submission maneuver. It's like a like a cross face like maneuver as he torques the arm and the back of Mark Henry. The world's strongest man all contorted right in the center of the ring. Not able to go anywhere with that like a giant blue beached whale in the center of the ring as he gets tied up but Dean Ambrose now lets go and now is going to try and pin the world's strongest man but only gets a one count as he uses that strength to just push Dean Ambrose to the side big headbutt counter by Mark Henry series of kicks coming in now and big strikes coming in from Mark Henry as he's got Dean Ambrose in the corner here he turns Ambrose around What's he going to do here? He grabs Dean Ambrose, sends him right into that pillar, that's, uh, that steel column, and now slams him down on the mat, uh, and attacking that back once again. Now Ambrose holding that back, and now a couple of kicks to the legs, it seems, as he grabbing those legs. As Ambrose able to grab the head, drives him face forward as that dirty deeds, and you know, goes for the pin here. One, two, three, not quite. Mark Henry just able to kick out there. Just barely before that three count, it looked like Mark Henry was going to try and grab Dean Ambrose, but Ambrose able to go for a low drop kick onto the legs of the world's strongest man, and that wobbled him enough 
First, he's a strike to take down the world's strongest man. He's got a two count, but he kicks out there. He's not able to get that three quite yet as Mark Henry is knocked back up with a big punch. Dean Ambrose takes him back down as he kicks him. He's going to go for a, another kick to send him down on the mat here. As he, Dean Ambrose has just been wailing on him with strikes as he continuously tries to put down the world's strongest man. He hasn't been trying to do many holds here as he has just been a big brawler against this titan of a man. As he does a giant walk around. Slam is Mark Henry might go for a pin after that. That is running slam with especially with all the weight of Mark Henry. He does put that weight on top of Ambrose for the pin. It's a two. It's a three. Not quite. Ambrose just barely able to kick out here. You gotta wonder where Roman uh Randy Orton is. We've got that oh that is a giant throw. Dean Ambrose had a huge amount of hang time there as Mark Henry with the pin. It's a two, it's a three. It is not a three, it is only a two count as Dean Ambrose able to just barely kick out again. I think I saw Randy Orton on the ramp there. Will he be looking at this match? He's got Dean Ambrose by the head. His giant gorilla press slam right in the center of the ring. Will he got enough energy to go for the pin here? He does one, two, three, and it's all over. Dean Ambrose not able to kick out of that one. think he's through here uh oh don't do this come on don't do this here comes the cavalry wow that was close the refs calling for the match to start and here we oh no These two guys have been at each other's throats the past two weeks. Two weeks ago, uh, CM Punk came out after a match between Alberto Del Rio and Triple H. Triple H got the victory there, but CM Punk calling out the United States champion, Alberto Del Rio, saying he wants a shot at that title. Then next week, uh, CM Punk was interrupted by Alberto Del Rio when CM Punk had a match against Triple H. And uh, these guys were just at each other's throats. The referee and Triple H physically separating the two. But this week they finally meet in the center of the ring here. And apparently Alberto Del Rio accidentally took out the ref here. But they still went into a nice uh, collar and elbow tie up mini game that they do at the beginning of these matchups. And now the ref has gotten himself back up here to officiate this matchup. To get a big strike to the face from Alberto. As we get the first snap suplex, big move of this match. As Alberto now going to focus on the lower back of CM Punk. Now, Punk and Del Rio were not part of the uh, March Madness tournament. However, the guy that they did face, Triple H, was. He lost that opening matchup, or the second matchup of tonight, and no longer in that tournament. you got to wonder if Triple H will set his eyes on the titles. we got a quick pin here from Alberto. Only able to get a one count. After CM Punk gets his shot, if he wins or if he loses, will Triple H make his way into the United States title picture? Especially since he got a win off both of these guys. And we get a big trip up counter by CM Punk here. He's got those big mutton chops. This is the uh, later CM Punk. We've got the earlier CM Punk on NXT as he just misses that crossbody, uh, springboard crossbody. And Alberto Del Rio is a series of kicks now. To the lower back, uh, exploiting that mistake by Punk. As he got an Irish whip counter, a nice knee to the gut, sending Alberto Del Rio down onto the ring. As he got a, a slight submission, uh, a couple of elbows just straight to the heart, the, the uh, upper shoulder of Alberto Del Rio. Probably going to be weakening that uh, cross arm breaker of his, his submission finisher here. As he got a headlock applied by Alberto, nice snap suplex. That, that uh, cross arm breaker was a great help to him in a multi-man match. He's got a two count against CM Punk. He's just got to get one more here. He's been doing continuous damage to Punk here. It has been back and forth in this matchup so far. No man has had a giant amount of momentum here. But CM Punk was looking for a submission maneuver of his own in the corner here. Trying to wrench that neck and those arms of Del Rio once again weakening the uh, cross arm breaker of his. As Punk gets whipped into the corner here, Alberto Del Rio going to turn around Punk. Oh, we'll go for, oh that enziguri to the back of the head through the corner. 
using those ropes is going to drag Punk to the middle of the ring so he can't grab the rope and now going to go for the pin. Will the United States champion win this match? Not quite yet as CM Punk kicks out and very quickly he got a nice suplex, a lot of strength behind that one as he lands on his upper back and now Alberto going for another quick pin here. One, only one count. CM Punk quick with the kickouts as well as now he's got Punk against the ropes here. He's going to whip around Punk, put him over the top rope. What will Alberto look for now? He's going out to the apron here. We've seen a, seen a couple of moves here, but he's looking for that head. DDT on the edge of that apron, that unforgiving edge to CM Punk. Ref starting the count now on the outside as we see a grab from the side. Alberto actually sending him into the barricade there. Alberto looking very tired after that as a, both of these guys looking tired on the outside. Ref calling for the guys to get back into the ring. Alberto is going to pick up CM Punk, looking for to do something here. Headlock applied. He's going to get attacked by Punk with a nice Hurricane, uh, hurricane Rana DT as Punk gets himself back into the ring. Gives Alberto plenty of time. We're only at a six count here. As Punk actually calling for a go to sleep here. As will he come into a trap here? Big slap to the face from Punk into the face of Alberto Dario. Will Punk go for a GDS? He goes for a nice. Uh, suplex landing him down on the mat and actually goes for a pin out of that one two only a two count on the United States champion here Alberto Del Rio a kick to the lower back not fully connecting here as Alberto actually able to grab the head of Punk and now he's going to go for a snap suplex though those legs hitting those ropes that is absolutely something that does damage the legs a bit more but he has those legs underneath the ropes allowing him to get out of that uh, pin with a rope break as you get a series of kicks coming in from Alberto and, and a, a nice attack on the arm. Perhaps it's going to... Alberto going in the corner there. I thought he was going to go for some sort of corner attack, but he's actually going to whip CM Punk in the corner. Now, turning around, Punk going for another enziguri to the back of the head, setting up Punk. Will he go for a cross arm breaker or another big maneuver? He's actually just going to go for a pinfall after that second enziguri. Back of the head. It's a two. It's a three. It's... Not quite. CM Punk just able to kick out after that two count. Two enziguris able to kick out. And he's going to return the favor and now kicks the back of the head of uh, Alberto Del Rio. Only gets a one count out of the United States champion though. As the United States champion does have a lot of wherewithal. He now gets a counter sending Punk to the corner. Big elbow to the face. Going to try and damage that face some more. As he got a one, two, three. And it is all over, folks. Alberto Del Rio wins this match against Punk. Damas y caballeros, su ganador, Alberto Del Rio.